So, while I sit here and drink my pre-workout, right here, I'm gonna go and start my fitness talk, my daily fitness rant a little bit early today. So I'm talking with a lot of relatively new to the fitness industry people, and the big thing they ask is how do you get sponsored? How do you become an affiliate? How do you have any type of connections with actual supplement companies? Now I'm not sponsored, but I have been affiliated with a few companies, and it's three P's. It's patience, persistence, and progress in everything that you do. Now, one, patience. You have to be patient in your fitness endeavors and know that you are going to get no for an answer. A lot of people are going to tell you no. People you like, people you love, but a lot of people are going to tell you no, you can't do it. Now, because of that, you have to be number two, persistent. You got to be willing to keep applying and keep moving and keep taking no for an answer until you finally get a yes. And if that yes fits you, then damn right you go for it. Now, and to go with that is three, progress. This is the most important one. Because if you're not making progress in your physique, you're not making progress in building your own brand, which your brand is yourself. So you have to build up who you are, who you, you're building who you present yourself to be to these companies through your social media, which nowadays that's a huge thing, social media marketing, but who you are to the fitness marketing brand. Build yourself and you present yourself in that. So that progress that they look for is progress in your physique that you're improving, that you have improved. If you're a competitor, that your physique is up on par, that you keep progressing, getting better and better. So another bit of, of progress is your social media outreach. You'll see a lot of companies when they do a social media search for people, they're looking for people who have very large fitness followings, like who have tens of thousands of followers. Quick break. Those that do not have a large social media presence, social media following, tend to sign with the smaller companies, the like Fireline Strong, or just small stuff that you've never really heard of before except for the other ones that comment on all your Instagram posts. That's honestly how I started. I just found smaller companies that were interested in the physique that I was bringing and my tiny little social media presence, and I just kept applying. And eventually they said yes. Like if you scroll all the way back through my, uh, my Instagram and, well no, I deleted my old Twitter, but my Instagram, you'll see a lot of the small, pretty bad companies that I started out with. And these were so small and so bad that about two thirds of them don't exist anymore. Their old Instagrams do, but the companies themselves, they're all dissolved, they're all gone. So right now, now that I'm signed for a year with BPI Sports, it's honestly just a blessing in that I've just kept going and kept going and kept taking no for answers until they finally fucking signed me. That's one dead giveaway if you're going with a bad company, is they don't offer you a contract. Because if you're working for them, promoting them, getting commission off of them, they should legally have a contract for you. Because if you don't get a contract through them, you're basically saying, right here. So back to the BPI Sports thing, I'm not a sponsored athlete, I'm an affiliate through them. So I work for them, I advertise for them, I get commissioned through things, and I get pretty good discounts and I give discount codes out to you all. Along with BPI Sports, I've also been blessed enough to be a part of Victory Clothing, which is a company created and ran by Sergio Oliva Jr., a future Mr. Olympia, and the son of a former Mr. Olympia. It's time to head to the gym, but I'm gonna go and keep talking to y'all because I got some life tips for you. So a lot of people tell you that you need to work on multiple things and be good at a lot of things in order to be successful. First and foremost, Fuck that. Honestly, fuck that. If you want to be successful, you have to work on yourself. You have to work on what makes you good. Whatever the fuck you're good at, perfect it. When you find what you're really fucking good at, what's most marketable or whatever the hell you're good at, whether it be electronics, bodybuilding, teaching, whatever you're good at, be the best at it. Perfect it. Then you can
can work on everything else. Because when you build your brand yourself, just like when you build a business, you have to have the perfect marketable product to send out to people. You don't want half-assed products. You want one really good one to start out with. Like, for example, look at Shark Tank. Those dudes come in with one damn good idea, then people invest. They don't come in with a bunch of small, shitty, half-assed items. That's a big thing a lot of people don't understand or refuse to understand. Find what makes you happy. Find what you're good at. Perfect it. Perfect what's around it. Then grow. I'm not saying that if you're good at something like working out that you just work out. It's it's like a branch. The main branch would you would be you working out, then you also work on all the small things attached to it. Eventually you'll get back to the tree. The reason I harp on this so hard is you don't want to be sitting down at 75. Fuck, you don't want to be sitting down at fucking 35 saying, what the fuck did I do with my 20s? What did I do with my teens? Why the fuck aren't I successful? Realize and work for your fucking dream right now while you still can, while you're still bright high, bushy tail, nice and young, fucking work on it while you have all this time to get better. While you can still strive for more progress and more success, get it done earlier, sooner than later. Don't waste your time. Time is the most precious commodity. No matter what, you can't buy it back. You now I apologize for my harsh tone. But my pre-workout's got me fucking amped. And I'm ready to go. Kill my legs and a little bit of chest. So I'm at the gym, I'm ready to kill it. If you're gonna go, fucking kill it. So today, like every day, let's fucking go.